This is David J. I'm here on my roof in New York City, and I just want to wish all of you a happy Asexual Awareness Week 2016. 2016 has been a phenomenal year for our community all over the world. We've seen the first real organizing in India with Aces of India. They're doing phenomenal work. Um, we've seen some incredible work in the UK for the first time pushing to get a asexuality included on the UK census. Now this is huge. This is part of a really big trend because all over the world, asexuality and other aspectrum identities are being included in surveys for the first time. And that's a big deal. If you think that in the next 10 years, there's going to be policy discussions that we want to be a part of, there's going to be legal discussions that we want to be a part of, having good data about our community is the way that we get a seat at that table. And that groundwork is being laid right now, um, especially by a uh, huge shout out to Michael Dore in the UK, who's been spearheading that work um, with the Office of National Statistics. Um, in LA, we've been working to reach out with st to studios for the first time around ace inclusive characters. Here in New York, um, we've been working with the Department of Education to, for the first time, create ace inclusive sex ed. If you know of any educators or any um, students or student groups, you should uh, send them this link so that they can help to raise awareness about what ace inclusive sex ed looks like. So this asexual, um, this year in ace awareness has been huge and you this week can be a part of it. Um, there's three things you can do. The first is join the media team. We are looking for people who can help to raise awareness, help to educate people about ACE experience, especially about intersectional ACE experience. We want to tell more stories about um, ACE people who, um, about the experience of being ACE and religious, about the experience of being ACE and people, uh, ACE and a person of color, about the experience of being ACE and gender non-binary. And so we want to have a really diverse set of um, people all over the world who can tell their stories to the press. Um, the second thing you can do is reach out to your um, it, the second thing you can do, sorry, it's loud, is reach out to local LGBT organizations about education. What we're seeing here in the U.S. is that there is huge demand from people showing up to queer centers, to student groups, um, to all sorts of service organizations who are ace um, wanting support. And those organizations often don't know enough about our community to be able to give that support. So we need people who reach out to these organizations, offer them resources, offer them training, and help to make ACE inclusion a part of what service providers, especially queer service providers, are doing everywhere. Um, and the third thing you can do is help to support our servers. We're upgrading AVEN servers to have more reliability, and that means they're going to be more expensive. We're raising money, still not a lot of money, um, but about $4,500. Link is here, um, and please donate even just $10 or $20 to help us meet that goal. Again, thank you so much, um, everyone who's been doing work to make 2016 so powerful. Uh, I wish you a great Asexual Awareness Week of doing that work in an even more powerful way.